Hello and welcome to Coffee Talk Messages, your spiritual guidance for the week. I am Cheryl, the healing dancer, and this is where I, every week, pull some oracle cards and give you some guidance and messages on whatever it is that you need to know this week or whenever you're seeing this video. So welcome, and I'm just going to get right into it. I already, I have pre-pulled some cards and let's get into the message for today. And today, what is today? Today is the 13th of November, 2023. We just had an amazing 11-11 portal this past weekend. So lots of amazing energies, still lots of very intense energy, but listen to this fucking message. Yes, I curse. Okay. Get over it. Listen to this fucking message. All right. So I have a new deck of cards, the Divine Master's Oracle by Kyle Gray. Freaking amazing, okay? Then we're also going to use the mantra affirmation cards, be you, do you, for you from Lamar. <clears throat> All right, look at this card, Isis. Isis, she's an amazing Divine Master. And it says, reclaiming magic, call back your power and what is rightfully yours. All right, let's get into this. Hold on. I need to take a sip of coffee. So call back your power and what is rightfully yours. Okay. We are reclaiming our power, reclaiming our magic. We are all powerful beings and powerful does not mean anything negative. So sometimes that word is associated with negative energy only because we look at sometimes people in power, right? and the negative bullshit they bring to the world or to our life. Um, excuse me, my nose is itching. That happens a lot um, when I'm connecting to spirit. But yes, so we are, the, the energy right now is that we are reclaiming our power, our sovereignty. That's the word that's coming to me right now. We are reclaiming our magic within all the parts of us that we have lost while living in this 3D matrix, we are reclaiming who we are. We are rediscovering who we are right now. So this week is all about calling back your power, feeling that magic within again, and calling that back to you and reclaiming who you are, remembering who you are. So listen, 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 listen. I'll hold the card up. Here we go. Isis is one of the foremost goddesses of ancient Egypt. She is a high priestess, goddess, and mother figure all in one, and is associated with the energies of the moon, magic, love, and conquering the underworld. Through her life experiences, <clears throat> connections, and understanding of magical forces, she has wisdom to offer us. Isis is a keeper of magical energy. She is dedicated to helping those who feel called to connect with the magic within. She helps us see the magic isn't something that comes to us, but an energy we awaken within. She is particularly drawn to those stepping into and honoring the divine feminine and those who are reclaiming aspects of themselves or their powerful or their power and have and have had to be left behind. Let me say that again. She is particularly drawn to those stepping into and honoring their divine feminine and those who are reclaiming aspects of themselves or their power that have had to be left behind. So we've left some of our power behind and she's helping us to reclaim that power. It's time to be your whole self, the part of yourself that have the parts of yourself that have had to be left behind are now ready to return. This is a time to stop playing small and step back into your greatness. If you feel something or someone has pushed you away from your most authentic self, the power of magic is guiding you to take the reins back into your own hands. Don't let anyone or anything stop you from being who you were born to be. Let your voice be heard. Let your gifts be seen. Let your power be revealed. If you feel that you have lost or forgotten parts of yourself due to situations beyond your control, know that these frag fragments are not lost, but waiting to be reclaimed. 
Call back all frag fragments of your innocence, gifts, talents, vulnerability, heart, and anything else that might be out there in the universe. This is a powerful moment of spiritual awakening, and the world is here to be your witness. Welcome home to yourself. Okay, so do this real quick for me. Put your hand over your heart or your hand over your heart. Let's take a deep breath in together and let it out. And I want you to repeat after me. I want you to say this out loud too. I now call back all of my power and I now reclaim all who I am and I stand in my truth and I stand in my power. I am that I am and I am enough. And so it is. All right, I felt that. I felt that. Oh, I'm breathing it in. All right, let's go into the mantra slash affirmation for the week. This is a long one, but it's a good one. I am open and receptive to the abundant flow of prosperity that the universe offers. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. Perfect for calling back our power. I'll read it again. I am open and receptive to the abundant flow of prosperity that the universe offers. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. That's the most important part. All of your needs and desires are met before you even ask. So let's call back our power this week. Let's stand in our power and know that being powerful is a good thing. It is an amazing thing. It's time for us to remember who we are and all of us are powerful, sovereign beings. And it's time for all of us to shine that light into the universe. And it starts today. It starts today. So start tapping into, it. if you're male or female, you still have a feminine aspect of yourself, feminine energy. We all have male, female energy. And I want you to start tapping into that feminine energy, which is very powerful and allow the softness, the kindness to flow throughout you to yourself first and foremost, while you're calling back your power and just know that there's nothing that you really need to do except set the intention to get back to who you were, to who you've never lost it. It feels like it's lost, but that's because we've left some of those parts behind, okay? So now we're calling back that power. We're calling back those parts of us into our existence, into our being. We're just waking them up, waking them up again. So set the intention to be in your power this week to remember who the fuck you are because you are an amazing bitch. <laughs> I love you. Keep dancing your dance, stand in your power, speak your truth. All will be okay. You are enough. Have an amazing week and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.